Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be building our Smetting 427 cubic inch Power Adder LS short block. So this combination is our 1200 horsepower rated engine. It starts with a Dart SHP iron engine block, six bolt cylinder head, three galley oiling system, billet steel main caps. This is a bad ass block. We're then gonna install our 1200 horse rotating assembly. We have our Smetting four inch stroke crankshaft, H beam rods with ARP 2000 rod bolts, and then our custom JE 2618 forged pistons. These pistons are gonna run a stainless steel gas nitrided top ring with a ductile iron Napier hook second ring and then sort of a medium tension, you could call it oil ring. We're gonna run one of our Smetting forged camshafts. This cam is 233, 250, duration at 50 thou. And it works really good with positive displacement twin screw blowers in these larger cube 427 engine packages. We're gonna run a set of Gatorman link bar hydraulic roller lifter. We've had great luck with these lifters. We keep them in stock all the time. Um, this is an amazing lifter for people looking this upgrade to a link bar style so they can get rid of the factory plastic trays that are known to spin and cause problems. We are running tri-metal bearings throughout this engine and we are going to run the Melling 10295 oil pump. I don't like to run the 10296 high volume pump in these larger displacement fully forged engines. So we like to run a standard volume high pressure pump so we will be installing the Copo pressure relief spring. For main bearing clearance, I am running 2.3 thousandths. I'm running the same on the rods. My top ring is gapped at 26 thou and our second ring is gapped at 28 thousandths. This motor will have no problem making north of 1200 horsepower with a supercharger if the customer ever wants to get there. He is just going to run this at about 900 horsepower though is all he's looking for. So this will be a rock solid foundation that he'll be able to run for years to come with zero issues or concerns. So I have already completely cleaned the engine block. Um, all my bearings are checked. My rings are gapped. Everything is deburred, ready to go together. So we're going to start with the camshaft and let's put this engine together. Camshaft is now installed. I always put a drop of Loctite on these cam bolts, cheap insurance. We don't want those coming out. Now we can install our crankshaft. These main caps are numbered and have an arrow on them. So always make sure that arrow is pointing towards the front of the engine block. Crankshaft is now installed and in its forever home. Next, we're gonna lubricate the bearings of the rods, the cylinders on the pistons, and then we can install our piston and connecting rod assemblies. I got a little bit ahead of myself. 
First we're going to do the timing set and oil pump. Then we'll put rods and pistons in the motor. And just like on the thrust plate, I do a little bit of Loctite on these bolts. Can't hurt, just good insurance. When we install oil pumps, we run the oil pump bolts in finger tight until they touch the pump and then I back them off a tiny bit so the pump can still rotate and wiggle under the bolt. So I touch off and then back it off just a little. The pump should have a little bit of free play. Then we take engine oil and give it a few shots. And then we'll rotate the whole assembly over a few times to coat the gears in oil. And this also aligns the gears to the housing, to the crankshaft, and to the engine block. Now we come back, torque the oil pump bolts down. And I did put a little Loctite on these. and now check it again. There should be no tight spots. It should feel the exact same as before. If you do have a tight spot, then you might need to pull apart the pump and see where is it rubbing on the crank. And all the times I've had a tight spot, it's been the housing of the pump rubbing a little bit on the crankshaft gear. And we've just been able to take some sandpaper and clearance and rub down the housing. But this one feels nice and smooth, so we don't need to do that today. So we are good to continue on with the rest of the build. Okay, now we can stop here and now we can drop in our rods and pistons.
Okay, that's it. These engines really are that simple. Granted, we did a lot of work off camera, but putting it together, really straightforward. Anybody can do this. We sell these rotating kits um, if you guys are looking to do this in your own engine block, but if not, we have a ton of these Dart engine blocks currently in stock. Our lead times on these products and these engines has never been shorter before. So give us a call if you're interested in having one of these engines built for you, or if you want one exactly like this. We also offer them with cylinder heads, valve train, dress up kits. We can dyno them, we can put intakes on, serpentine kits. We can basically take it as far as you want, except for putting it in the car for you. So. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time.